How are we all? Good learning time. I want to share some information that I've been learning about water. I have some water here and I just want to share some information. Um, I want to look into the sources of water, but it's basically like I'm involved with my coffee and with the coffee we always know terroir is such an important part of the resulting flavor of the coffee, such as the variety, where it's from, the location, uh, the moisture content, the air, it's all part of the terroir. And this is also reflected in mineral water that we get to taste. Now, the water I have for you, I want to go through some different sources. And um, the first source I want to touch on is a spring source, which is our most common source that we see all over the place. Um, spring water is water that's gone into the ground, underground, it's flowing, and it comes to into a spring or an aquifer where we can access the water. Um, depending on where the spring is and how long it takes to travel down is how it affects the mineral composition of each and every other brand out there. But the one I want to look at today is the multi-award winning Beloka Water from Mount Kosciuszko in New South Wales, Australia. This water it's filtered through nearly 500 million year old geological strata and into the Australian Alps. Look, and it was established in 2009. It was found by um, the lucky founder. I um, can't quite remember his name, but um, look, he was planting olive trees. He was digging holes, planting olive trees, ready to retire an olive farm. And he come across some lovely water. So we went through the process in getting it all found. And then we have this absolutely award-winning, amazing mineral water. It has a medium level minerals, um, the beautiful silky texture that's uh, very memorable. And um, the fact that it's local to me, I actually feel quite lucky. And it's, it's a water that thinks about everything. Like the company itself, um, they water is from Australia. The glass is made in Australia, the labels, and the caps are all made in Australia. Even the boxes they package them in are all made in Australia. So this spring water is one of the most amazing waters you'll ever get to experience. Um, and it has this beautiful texture that we will all enjoy that. So grab a bottle if you can find it. Um, just want to touch on another source. So that's our spring. The other more cool name is Artesian waters out there. And what's artesian? Artesian is basically water still there. It's like a spring, but then it is risen to the surface with its natural pressure. So it comes to the top all by itself. So there's no need for any other mechanic here or doesn't flow into a spring. It just rises up into there. So this artesian water is it's a buzzword. People love it. It's 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 it tastes beautiful. And I just feel lucky to have access to another amazing water, no more than 50 kilometers north on the Sunshine Coast at the Glasshouse Mountains. Uh, we have Mount Biwa. It's hard to see that label. There we go. It's very simplistic packaging. Mount Biwa, natural mineral water. These guys, uh, they're within a 79 acre property um, at the base there at the Mount Biwa and the Glasshouse Mountains there. Um, it's very a community focused. They do a lot of stuff there to help the community. They supply water um, in trucks to the cafes, restaurants and, and stores for the public to come on and just bring their own containers and take and have their coffees made with this delicate soft mineral water that is from the artesian source really really close. So I'm lucky to enjoy this and I hope you all get to try it soon. Um, that's the artesian water and that's our cool one but the non so cool source that is called well water. Look, you don't see bottles written well written on it because marketing doesn't like that. But side by side next to the other sources, uh, absolutely phenomenal waters. Um, from what I've experienced, um, you can try great well waters. Um, well water, I don't actually have one here. I'm still waiting for it to, to turn up, but one I have heard a lot about and I've seen a little bit about is. Um, is Tau water, which is from Wales. Look, my grandfather from Wales, which is why I'm mentioning this one, Tau water. Um, it's 
it's from the Slip Bottle Lamb, I think it's 2003, located on a 300 acre property on the west side of Wales. Tao in Welsh translates as to be silent, and this is what it is. It doesn't jump around, it doesn't say I am artesian. It just sits there, people enjoy it, it's got this simplistic thing about it. Um, and this water actually is bottled very elegantly. It's minimalistic, it's elegant, it's simple, and if you ever get your chance to try some towel, I'm sure you'll be surprised as well. But I'm going to move next to our glacial water. So we've hit spring waters, we've hit artesian waters, we've hit well water. Now I'm going to hold on to the glacial water, and yes, it sounds really old, and it's because it is. It's from the last ice age. Look, this one's probably around about 23,000 years, and these glaciers, it's like they've melted. And this one I have here is melted into Waimu Plains. I hope I pronounced that right. Waimu Plains, 900 meters underground near Brightwater Town at the top part of the South Island in New Zealand. Wow, that's hard. Top, south, it's, yeah. Anyway, this is a New Zealand uh, glacier water, Estelle water. Look, it's been uh, founded in 2016. So it's, um, and there was two bros, as they are called, and the two bros, they really are brothers. Um, they put it together and they are distributing this water um, in PET bottles, as you can see. Um, uh, it's easy to get hold of for me. I'm, I'm in Australia and I'm sort of feel lucky to have access to Tao, not Tao, so Estelle water. Tao was the well word. Now, one other water I want to share with you, I wasn't actually got it on my list here, is since we're privileged to be in Australia, I want to share rainwater. Rainwater is very hard to get around the world. Some of the best rainwater in the world is in the rainwater capital. Tasmania and this one in particular is so young not even it's very very young you're going from 23,000 years ago to like last month almost it's like I don't know exactly the exact dates but um, King Island cloud juice an absolutely phenomenal water it's a rain water and it's through the clouds are the cleanest in the world and the air there's almost no pollution there so the water that comes out almost has very low minerality it's very smooth clean and delicate and i just wanted to quickly throw that one in but um it's it's a beautiful water in tasmania so if you can get hold of some of this enjoy that as well so i hope you sort of understand a little bit about how sources change the flavors of what we want about so um i'd like to say cheers to a glass of water and any questions um throw me a message or let me know and I'm happy to give you some more information or, and I'm looking forward to learning more along the journey with everyone else here too. Thank you.